I've been wondering about her. Do you see? Or don't you? I'm not sure exactly. If I... oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. No, no, that's my fault. I kicked it. Okay, this is a hooded merganser right here. Let's get you a little closer. Oh. Okay. She's a duck. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um Okay, so now let me pan over to where her duckling is on that fallen log. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I think it's just the one duckling. Uh, two or three weeks ago, she had two ducklings, uh, three ducklings. And I only see the one, so she may have lost a couple. So is it in the close pond or the far pond? The, that, you see, if you the look log? straight out in the yeah. close pond, the farthest log right, that goes left right. to right, she's on the log. Okay. So I've got the log, now I just need to, I see a turtle. My okay, do you, see where, turtle. do you see where the break is in the greenery behind? Yes, yes. Look, she's a little bit to the right. Look, pan to the right. Yep. From there. Yep. And, and actually, if you look uh, from my perspective, right behind or right in front of the break is where the duckling is. And then she's further to the right. So what, what is after them here? What would be hunting them? Oh, anything. Any, uh, any you know, foxes. even a crow would, foxes. Um, sometimes they do have, from what I understand, every once in a while the coyotes have been seen here. Uh, but um, also um, birds of prey like red-tailed hawk, Cooper's hawk. Um, Hello. Oh, see the, the duckling is moving. If you're wondering, I'm looking at, this is a the duckling of a, uh, a species of duck called hooded merganser. Oh yeah, we know those. And uh, the duckling is on that fallen log that's in the, in the distance. And its mother is over, wait, is that her? Yes, right here. Huh. Long Island and we get uh, hooded mergansers in the winter in the... Well, this, you know, I've been coming here for years and this is the first time I've ever seen, um, you know, ducklings Could here. Could I see the duckling again? Sure. Yeah, we certainly don't get the ducklings. Turtle. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> wow. And just one, huh? Just one. She had three a couple weeks ago, so she must have lost a couple. So do you work here? No, I just uh, I come here on a regular basis. I stream live usually. I, that's really? why I'm usually here. Yeah, I, I cool. just I just shut down my streaming because I'm going to go elsewhere, and I happen to notice the the, uh, the duck duckling? and ducklings. Aww. I notice the duckling first. With your binoculars, or uh, actually yes, with my binoculars. I can't see anything. Over well, there. do you know where to look? If you look straight out, I see. I mean, that's a big turtle on the log, right? Uh, yes, and it's the uh, the ducks are both to the left of it. Uh, in fact, if you pan left from the big turtle, and uh, just as you're, you can see there's where like a where from where it goes up, yeah. Right before that, where it goes up is where the mother is. Okay. And then the duckling is farther over. You know, you see the break between the two ponds, essentially. Yep, yep, well, yep. it's, uh, if you look in front of that break is where the duckling is. Okay. Cool. Are you here for a reunion or? Oh, yeah. Ah. So this might give you a better idea. I've, I've zoomed out. So the duckling is there relative to that break. Okay. Okay, and I'm just darken it. And then there's the mother. There's the 
mother, yeah. and there's the there's the turtle, turtle. large turtle. turtle. Cool. Okay, I've got to get going. I'm going to be late. Are you familiar with hooded mergansers? Is that what I'm looking at out there? There's one on the log. On the log, yeah. It's to the left of the turtle. I see it, yep. And then if you look further left, there baby? there's one baby uh, right in front of where the break is in that berm I there. It. I see it. I couldn't tell from my binoculars though, like, I wouldn't have been able to identify it with these. But... Well, here, take a look on my screen. It's a giant snapping turtle out there on the. Uh... It's you know they're not as big as they look. Yeah. But that's that's the uh, that's the got the duck. Oh line. yeah, look at that. Uh... And then I'll show you the mother. She's oh, right here. Oh, glorious. She had three uh, ducklings with her a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. So she must have lost a couple uh, uh -huh. since then. Maybe that snapping turtle got one. It's yeah. possible. Or a bird of prey, or who knows? Yeah. Unless you know, unless maybe the the other ducklings are on the other side of that log, but I doubt it. You know where we can't see them. They uh, probably would have seen it by now. Well, they if they're just sitting there in the water, they they you know who knows maybe. Hooded merganser. I'm not as familiar with the, um, the field marks on the mergansers. Well, you're also going to have a hard time because the lighting is not good, and she may not even be in her breeding colors right now. I'm not sure. Uh, there was a um, when I walked in, I was a. Uh, Checking out the binoculars, and there was a pileated um, oh, was woodpecker it? that was over cool. on the feeder. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's glorious! <laughs> Fabulous! Oh! Oh, she stood up. Stood up, and now getting in the water. And the mother is still in place. Now get over there and watch your baby. Are those other little turtles on the log? Are those little painted turtles? There are. I, I think they're painted. I, I, I'm not an expert on turtles, but yes. And there's also a snapping turtle. And the snapping turtles have been really around uh, quite a bit today. We were just, uh, my wife and I were up and we did the, um, the tour at the vet school at the Wildlife Center. Oh, okay. And um, they had a couple of big snapping turtles and buckets in there. They had, had um, carapace fractures that they had Oh, really? Mended. Oh. Are they going to remain in captivity or? No, no, they'll be, um, they'll uh, be released? They'll be releasable, yeah. They'll oh, go good. To a rehab or next and then be released. So it's at least nice endings, hopefully. So the, the duckling has moved quite a ways over and uh, I want to go check on its mother, see if its mother is still there. Yep, it's still where it was. Still where she was. I don't know anything about mergansers. But um, it surprises me that uh, she lets the baby get so far from her. I, I'm kind of surprised too, and and but I'll say, you know, I've only seen merganser ducklings um, once, well, one other location in a prior year. I've never seen them here before, so I was surprised when I first spotted them a couple weeks ago. 
and I haven't seen them since, and I'm glad to have uh, caught sight of them today. I was, I was just about to leave. I normally stream live, and I'm uh, oh. due to stream live in uh, a little while, so I'm, I'm delaying my departure from where I, to where I have to go next. That was a great blue heron out back. The, oh, is there? Back pond, like um, where oh. that baby was, like okay. straight up beef set. Oh, I see it. Up there fishing. And the mother is still where she was. She looks like she's kind of thinking about leaving the log though. It's possible that the other ducklings are still alive and nearby. Yeah, like uh, she's giving that much distance exactly. to them. And there's a deer back there too now. I saw, oh I, oh, I didn't see it in the water. I saw it when I, when I first walked up, I saw it on the other side of the beaver dam. Wow, it comes straight across. I don't think I've ever seen a deer across a swamp like that. Oh, I have. And it's, I mean, the water is only so deep, and, the, and rather than walk all the way around it, why not walk through? She looks like she's eating, like the, something from the surface. Could like, be. Why not? Oh, where'd the, uh... oh no, she's still there. The mother's still there. You had still have eyes on the baby? It just went under, like, over on the left over here. Next oh, I, I kind of lost track of it. Oh, it just popped up in, like, the weeds, like, right over there. I don't see it. I'll have to look. Oh, you can see, like, your little head kind of popping up and down. Right on the other side of that log. And she's under. And that's what's easier with binoculars to... And she's up again. I see it. Oh, pretty close. Yeah. Just heard a Baltimore Oriole. A male or female Baltimore Oriole? I didn't see it. Um, it was, I heard it sing. I didn't oh, see it. Oh, you heard it. Okay. But I imagine it was a male. Oh, little muskrat just went past us. Well, I'm I'm zoomed in on the uh, the, baby. the baby, yeah. Oh, is mom coming over? Oh, she is. Well, I'm going to I'm going to stay with the baby. Well, mom is uh, swimming in her direction in the direction of the baby. They're Good. Soon. It seems like the baby's calling. Maybe too quietly for me to hear, but Mom's got something in her mouth. Uh, hold on, I can't find anybody now. <laughs> Not with the. There we go. There she is. Oh, she's come quite close too. Okay. Uh, no, she doesn't have anything in her mouth. Not that I see. She did for a second. And then did she? Yeah. What it was. Either she swallowed, or else she decided it wasn't edible. I guess. Oh my goodness. These are in some ways some of the best looks at mergansers I've had in a, well, a long time. So anyway, these, I would say she is definite, almost definitely, there could be a lighting issue, but uh, almost, I don't think she is in like any kind of breeding colors. I may be wrong. Was the baby really close just moments ago? I 
think it may have been. I've got to make some adjustments. It's hard with the spot and scope when they're just closed. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I think I saw some disturbance in the water that had me thinking that... Oh, no. No, no. They're right next to each other. They're right next to each other. Well, not for long. Coming close. Coming close. Yeah, she's got that one feather that's like kind of poking up funky. Well, I yeah, I, I saw it earlier. I'm I'm right now. I'm zoomed in on the uh, on the baby. Oh, here she comes into my view now. This is awesome. Like a 360 of her hood. Oh, yeah. Which is really cool. You see little like white bits on her back, too, at certain times. What a treat this is. Oh, I bet, I bet, oh. Right. I bet if those other two were around, they'd be, they'd be visible. Oh yeah, let me get it. No, I, the, 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 um, the crane statue got in my way. Thank you, though. And there, it's about to be in my way again. There we go. Yeah, you can see those little white feather stripes on her back, too. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if you're unfamiliar, I mean, you should see what the males look like when they're in breeding colors. Yeah, I think I've seen the males, but I, I don't know. I don't have my field guide with me, borrowing the one from the... Well, just take, you know, if you have a smartphone, look up. Oh, they just went under together. Mm-hmm. They're there. Well, this has been a treat. I'm looking forward to sharing with everybody. You know something? If, um, from within the lab, the Hood and Merganser and her baby. You'll get good views through that scope. You can use that scope.
or you're welcome to look at my camera screen, either way. Here is, that's the mother. And the baby is, where'd the baby go? Oh, I see, I see. I do too, I just can't find them on the, in my narrow view here on the scope. Where'd it go? Oh, there, well, now I've got the, the pillar here in the way. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Okay. Yeah, that's thank awesome. You. The scope is hard to use. It's not hard. You just get it. You have to get used to it. Yeah. The problem is because it is low. Yeah. It's very cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. A couple more looks. Good luck. Good luck.